was invited to travel to the Apalachicola region this month, and I had been so looking forward to it for the St. George Island paint out. And what a paint out is, if you, if you don't know, what a paint out is, is, is different artists get together and they paint together and they uh, spend a week or so. Um, some of the artists are asked to do workshops and to do demos, and I was asked to do both of those. But it never appeared this year because this year we have uh, social distancing and we really have to stay close to home. So um, instead of a paint out where we go out to the location, the organizers changed it to a paint in. So what that means is that each of the artists that were invited are asked to paint around where they're living, where they're staying for social distancing. And uh, I've stayed home. I've stayed uh, at my home studio. And so what I've done is I've painted a couple of paintings around the house and in my studio for this paint in. So let me show you what I produced and uh, just a couple of the paintings and I'll talk about it as we go through it. Okay. So the first painting, I was really interested in getting the shadows on the side of the house. Boy, these shadows are changing fast. That's what I want to get today. I I'd like to do this little window and about five or six minutes ago the shadows were all along this wall now they've gone down as the sun's been going up the shadows have been going down a little bit you know the car and the garage is not that interesting to me it's this cute little window up here with the shadows on it so that's what i'm going to do today i'm starting out with a line drawing Architecture is harder to do than a painting of trees and flowers. You have to pay attention to perspective and the relationship of the shapes next to each other. If you're off a little bit, the viewer will see it. Whereas if you're doing a painting of a wilderness, a marsh, a beach, if you're a little off, nobody will know. So I make sure I measure as I paint. I love the darkness of the white wall against the blue sky on this and the dark of the tree. It makes it stand out. The building stands out with that dark in the background. And I really see the colors in the shadows change. At the top of the shadows in the builder, building, they're cooler, um, they're bluer against the white. It's not white, the shadows are bluer. They reflect the blue of the sky, kind of gray blue. And toward the bottom of the wall, they're reflecting the greens of the garden and the tan of the driveway. So they warm up a little bit. So they're still not the same color as the white. They're still the white building, but they're reflecting a little bit of the greens and that shows up in the shadows. Paint, out, paint outs have always been kind of hard for me because I have to produce a quality painting quickly. I don't have the luxury of spending a few days or a few weeks on a painting. These little paintings that you do in paint outs have to be done and submitted the same day um, that they're, they're started. It's kind of like speed painting. You have to see quickly and render it quickly and make changes to any imperfections quickly. And that's not really natural for me. I like to take my time. I like to consider and adjust over the course of a few days. So on to the next painting. I'm trying to figure out how I want to do this. I like those trees and I like the shape of the grassy area. So I, I'm going with that kernel of the idea, but I'm changing it quite a bit. I mean, I'm the artist. I can. It doesn't have to look exactly the way I see it. I can change it depending on how I feel about it. 
So the road I have transformed into the water in a marsh. And I'm pushing the trees way back and I'm making it much more moody. I'm playing with the colors too. Lots of warms in the foreground and cool color in the background. So keep watching for a few more seconds to see how these paintings came out. Please subscribe so that you can be sure to see my new videos when they come out. And please leave comments below the video on YouTube. I love hearing from you. And thank you so much for watching today, and I'll, I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.